Hello. Um. Welcome to part two. <laughs> so it turns out I was recording for too long and I wasn't able to fit it into part one. So we're gonna actually cut into the rest of the rest of part one right now, and then after that you'll meet up with me. Coming or what? Uh huh. Ooh, so you afraid gotta... of heights? Maybe. Yes. Oh shit! We're all gonna die. That's fucked up. Just go. <laughs> oh my god! Relax, Mark. That's fucked up. Ooh, that serious drop. That's also fucked up. You good? Oh man. You can do it. You can do it. Eyes forward. Don't look down. I got it. It's fine. Is it though? I shouldn't have looked. It's just water down there. You can swim. Besides, the bridge looks dependable. Ish. Come on. I'll help. That's it. Look, it's fine. I'm not looking. Don't look down. Yeah. <laughs> See? Not so bad. That was. Thank you. Very interesting moment. You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. <coughs> Where is everyone? Apologies, uh, they're all city folk. Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people. I don't like these characters so far. This, wow, Mr. Dumas, this place is magnificent. Yeah. <coughs> Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. What are you doing? I ah I nah up. up there. Maybe it's your one fan. And now she's lost forever. You are such a dick. Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. Look at this. It's amazing. This is intense. Would you all mind signing in at the desk, please? Uh, this isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. Kate's makeup case is slowing it down. Erin, cigarettes. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. Mr. Dumas, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? <laughs> I told you. <coughs> Sorry. Did it really have, did the murder castle really have sliding hotels? I mean sliding, not sliding hotels, sliding walls? 
Also, this game is starting to look a little bit, a little bit supernatural. Just a little bit. Oh, there you are. Busy, busy, busy. You've been out in a bad old day, and I have to sit here worrying. Gone all day, and not a word from you. Oh, not supernatural. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Okay, not supernatural. She probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. I mean, like, singing. Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it and I won't be scared long. <laughs> Doesn't really work. I bet. Damn. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes. All right. Let's continue. It's just a hall, dude. And here we are. Well, it's, um, cozy? At least we don't have to double up like last time. Mm, cozy is fun. If we have to double up like last time, it's a matter of my morning. You talk in your sleep. What I'm happened not sure to- I never told you that. Sure. What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh, I was awake. <coughs> I was reading Kate's social media post. Ugh, that bitch. Okay, don't hate me, but she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Ah, uh, gross school. What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Oh. Shows where you know. What is that? Wine, genius. Uh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Not until we're rigging to shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on a hammer before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't... Cute? You think oh. I'm cute? Hmm? Another romantic subplot. Oh. So clumsy. You're so clumsy. What would Charlie say? Oh, I know. Where'd it go? Uh, it's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Shit. <coughs> you trying to scare me now? <coughs> no. Revenge? Because good job. Aaron can use her inhaler to stop asthma attacks. <laughs> so wait, when does she get asthma? <coughs> you sure are you, you okay? Sure you're okay. 
because yeah maybe me scaring you didn't help did it no but seriously it's not your fault i just i i try to pretend like it isn't a thing you know like i don't want to be depending on an inhaler i try to mind over matter it but dust and allergies and i just need to be more careful you sure sure i'm sure so, uh, yeah. I've been told I have Cozy. asthma, but I don't think I have, like, I don't, I've never had an asthma attack. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I have. You gonna try that? Again, sorry. And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's equal. Decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones. A hint of citrus. Oh. And I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat dots. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hate you. You are such a liar. Um. Fuck okay, it, we'll oh, go for a Sorry. I thought you meant the thinking you were cute thing. Really? Um, if my cheeks are red, it's from this wine. Not because I am bashful. I swear. Really. Sorry. Didn't mean to make you feel weird. I, I... Yeah, it's just... We work together, and... Charlie is always on me about being more professional, and... I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Erin. Or that I don't think you're cute, too. It's That's, just... This um, is... Fuck it, man. If, 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 I'm gonna go all in. What are you doing? I, oh my god, I, uh... I'm going I... all in. <laughs> oh, you bitch! <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just was scared to make a real move. God, God. Oh. Oh. Sorry, sorry. They went in. Who is that? <sighs> Enjoy yourself out here. Enjoying yourself out here like some sort of pervert? Sorry, did I uh, interrupt something here? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Yeah, yes. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know what it's putting out. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me 10, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got 10 minutes. OK, we'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. That's kind of... kind of fucked up. To be continued. To be continued, then? Yes. Definitely. <coughs> Good luck finding your rooms. Ah, oh, no! Nah. Where the hell are they going? Bro, dit! Bro, 
fucking dipped. I don't think I'm adding enough emphasis to that. What the fuck? Was that was that was that a fucking well, mannequin of Kate? Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. <laughs> Sorry. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress. Or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed. Okay. Do I look fucking stressed? Uh, that was rhetorical. Well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. I also and I can use business cards to open unlock drawers. I, foil. I have a business card. I have a I lock pin. So I can pretty much just open unlock things. Did you find them? I know. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. Jesus. What the fuck is mythical? Instructive, okay. I, I don't know. I guess just check the other bag. Check the other bag. Didn't you already? Just look. It's only clothes and, uh, uh, this. Notice of eviction. The studio? I paid the studio rent out the wrong account and the check bounced. It's nothing. I just have to use another. It's fine. So you're saying not to worry? Worry about finding my bloody cigarettes. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Are you saying somebody took them? I, I don't. Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. Um, let's just get on with things. It's fine. Let's just get on with things. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. So I have a lighter. Let's see. Line of entertainment. Okay, this is the eviction notice. Okay, let's go. So, I know you said it wasn't a thing, but that bank notice... You're fixating, which normally I applaud, but not about this. I mean... You tell us if we were in danger of losing our jobs, right? It's television. Everyone is always in danger of losing their jobs. Grant them do sure, match architects. It's fine. Erin, please. I've squared it all with the network. We're still working on this final episode, and they're paying your salary, not me. Well, but... You have to let this go. We're fine, Erin, okay? There's a lot of things I can find. What's this? Another coin. You've got to be worth something. <coughs> I can't believe I played this, played this game for an hour already. <laughs> Grantham Dumet from Jose to Joseph. Good evening. Thank you for allowing me to contact you directly. Your publisher said that you're giving your teams that we have new churches. I don't give no fuck. Actually, no, I do. It. I want to. I want to. I want to read what's in the red. Actually, 
But please confirm your attendance and additional guests would like to bring. Okay, so he's done this before. I invite you to visit the hotel. The homes tours. Hi, Grantham. Thanks. I'd be delighted to come along and sure I can get my wife and two girls to join me. My brother Francis is in town at the minute. I'll make that five. I trust them all my life. No sweat over. I'll definitely see you next Friday. He's done this before. And it's a five, too? Hmm. What a, that doesn't seem like a coincidence. We going to, we going downstairs, Eric? Hey, Charlie. I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. I... I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... Assistant. A personal assistant. I suppose I should be thankful it's just my cigarettes that are missing and not our gear. Got a point there. Sort of. And then I can help <coughs> out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. Yes. Hey, maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth. Is the star. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? Yo, you're kind of being an asshole, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I looked at this. What's the... Jackpot. Erin! I found the key! <laughs> Okay. <coughs> so I have a lighter, a business card, uh, um, a whatever, something pin. I have a pin, and then I have a key. So I think there's like multiple different things you can use. Like you, like there's like a key inventory. There's. I wonder how this is gonna play out. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Hello. Oh, there's a picture. Mr. Dumas. What were those screams? <laughs> I just stared at a man getting burnt to death, and the only thing I could think about was how his scream sounded dumb. I'm, s I'm so, I'm so socially sane. Good morning to you all. I'm Chester Bell, assistant director at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. At approximately zero five thirty local time. A team led by Special Agent Hector Monday and supported by law enforcement officers conducted a raid of a motel room just outside Birmingham, Alabama to apprehend Manny Sherman, the man known as the Beast of Arkansas. Huh. Using state-of-the-art psychological profiling techniques, Special Agent Monday and members of his task force not only identified their suspect, but predicted his movement with unerring accuracy. I'm delighted to say we have our man. Okay. So, is this gonna be like 
extra stories? Because I remember in House of Ashes it had something like this. Once again, I'd like to thank you for the incredible work you and your team achieved at the hotel. I extend my heartfelt condolences to each unit. The accident that befell the skeleton crew on the lake is nothing sort of a tragedy, and I, in part, feel responsible in honor of them. I spent the last several months applying, applying the final touches to the hotel. I'm proud to say we are almost ready to go to the public. Please allow me to extend my sincere gratitude. I invite you and the rest of your team to join me for the grand opening ceremony, 7 p.m. Friday, November 17, 2017. I promise a spectacular evening with themed entertainment, including a bar ship quartet. I assure you. I sure, I'm sure you will agree that all your hard work was worth it when you enjoy the unique hotel experience. Sincerely, Richard Belknap. <coughs> they did. Alright, let's see. There's a mannequin at the bar. Okay. Oh, wow. An animatronic. That's what amazing. would it be, Mr. Demet, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? A packet of smokes. I figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. Appreciate you, my boy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. Of course, it wants exact change. Damn it. Search the bar for some money. Excuse me, you mind if I just... Do I gotta press one of the... Oh. Ah! Oh, fuck. Next round's on me. Promise. Watch him get stuck. Ha! Called it. Oi. Oi. What am I hitting? Oh no, 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 please, come on, no. Find a way to get the cigarettes out of this pencil. Oh. No. No, please! I'm having a really shit day, and you've just made it worse. <laughs> Alright, let's look around, let's see what we got. <coughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord! Come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. Somebody behind me? <laughs> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right, you. That's it. I'm going to go and get my key grip, and they are going to kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. <laughs> Are you alone in there? 
Who's that behind the bar? What? Wait, so who's behind me? <coughs> Mark, I'm in my I'm in my room. I'm chilling. Hey. I had a thought on an intro segment. You wanna shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. Joke about the job. <laughs> joke I turned down that job because that would have left you alone with Charlie. How cruel do you think I am? I'm being serious. So am I. Fine. I'll drop it. Great. Let me grab the camera. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? Mm. I don't remember. I just want to look decent. You look good in any light. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. <laughs> I'll take it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish. Or both. We're hitting the golden hour. We're hitting the go. golden hour. We should be able to find a good spot. <laughs> I don't know why you camera dorks call it that. It's 15 minutes at best. Yes and no, if you have the right reflector. 15 minutes at the most. <laughs> Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> find a good location to Where shoot. Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. Use my to search for over time. The camera's ready to go change color. Do you like it? It's just a place to keep my shit and crash. Short term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's. Mm, I smart have, plan. I have a you flash. You said I to be out, so I got out. I was complimenting you. Yeah, just saying. Whoa, there, bucko. I was just checking for a light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird-ass rules. I was worried you'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or... Maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion no fly zone list. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh my God, I'm gonna... So since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? So they just ended a relationship. So we're going to have to fix the relationship. So if Dumet catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. Of we? course. So maybe we should take care. Probably. I got a picture of him. It's fine. Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue? When he took away our phones like we were kind of teenagers? So wait, what are we doing now? Yeah, what happened? Shit. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. <coughs> I don't know what this is used for. Way through. Now we're gonna have to find a key. Look at this wallpaper. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. 
I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. It was supposed to be a complete one-to-one -one replication. Looks like replication. Is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. The ghost? There. See that key? Just need to find a way through. Rod is gonna set in. Right. That's it. What? But since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it. It's decay. It's the decay of human bones. I mean, meat, Old flesh. Just, uh, shut up. Island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. Now what can, what does this allow me to do? Wait, I don't even know what I'm trying to do. I'm lost. Okay, well then this is that definitely have to do something. Oh, okay, I see what we have to do. We have to move it over here. No, no, I don't want to go. I want to grab onto it. You gotta press square to grab on it. Fuck. Okay, so I guess I have to. Lord, buddy here. <coughs> okay, and then climb up because on that guy. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to make that jump. Keep your head down. So far, um, I don't really have a favorite so far. I was gonna say, at first it was Charlie, because, you know, he just talked the most and, you know, had the most character to him, but now he's kind of like, he's kind of an asshole. I ain't gonna lie to you. <coughs> you fucking, the way you shoot Darren, bro. Kind of an asshole. Uh, another coin! Appreciate you. Where to now? Yeah, we have to get to there, but how? I don't think Mark can make that jump. And if he can, Mark is an athlete, and I don't know why he's working doing using cameras, bro. That man should be playing some type of sport, cause that man got hops. Let's see. Oh wait, can you shimmy along the wall? No. <laughs> That's the, what I'm looking for. Where the fuck is Kate? <coughs> Sorry. I don't know, I'm lost. I keep using this because I don't know what the fuck it does. I want to know what it does. Am I like, using it to like stun somebody? Oh, I might have to move that, you know, like Resident Evil style. Yeah, I might have to move this.
Why would you give me the option to move it if I wasn't able to move it? That's fucking. <coughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do? There's a ladder right there, but how do I how do I get to it? Can I move it back? Oh! And then can I climb on this? Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. Can I grab it down the sides? Oh, okay. Put it in. See? I'm a puzzle master. <coughs> it only took me like five or ten minutes. Still a master though. I'm still better than you. I had nothing. I'm not better than you. Let's be honest. Oh my god. My sinuses. And then we're gonna have to go right back down and move the bookcase again. But that allows us to open this ladder. This should work. <coughs> you can get you down. okay in there? I'll be right yeah. back. They have interesting accents. Like, is it? I don't think this is. I don't know. I don't know a lot of accents, so I can't place it. Place it. Place it there. But it's very interesting. It's a very wide array of accents. Oh, I just realized the controller vibrates when you're pushing something. <laughs> Ladies, don't get no ideas. Because with me on your side, you're probably gonna die on me, honest with you. Hey, I was able to keep everybody besides Rachel alive in fucking. in, uh, in House of Ashes. And I was able to keep everybody alive besides John in, uh, Little Hope, so. yeah. God. I have three things in my inventory. What the hell? <coughs> now, what would you have done if that was locked? Hey, Kay, how you doing? See, there's something on my my down button, but I don't know what's I don't know what that is. Whoa! Oh, oh. Just come on, it's not that high. My vertigo is saying otherwise. Hey man, my man's alone, bro. Hey, I was afraid of heights at one point too. Don't worry, you look fine. What are you worried about, miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Okay, check I this out. I belong to H.H. H. H. Holmes. Who? H.H. H. Holmes. They're gonna touch it? <laughs> Fuck! You okay? No! I just... This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. That got me. That fucking got me. <laughs> See? 
W what is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. <sighs> it can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. I got me this. You should get that. Hey, there. Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on. Let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> Fuck, man. That's... Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. What? Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. We tired, we tired of you watching first. Charlie can be a pain. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? That's how directors have That's to be. That's how directors have to be. It's their job. They have a vision. Ego has to play into it a little bit. That's why I just shut up and point the camera. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. No, Got a point. But imagine if you were in his shoes, 40 something, still waiting for your big break. Kate, this show is the closest he'll ever have to success. I guess. My suggestions can take can turn out. That's not what I meant. I meant just think of him as. This is a very interesting uh, way of having. Also, what is this face, man? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. Good for you. That's that's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That sounded very sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing <coughs> himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. Confront him work for being disloyal. Wow. I was quite moved Whoa! By that. I've been met. Whoa! I. F Yo! Yo! <laughs> Oscar word. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonnet Entertainment. And Lonnet Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonnet employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. Great. Uh, Happy? You have a future, and now I don't. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. Ah! That's what I get. That's what I get for being fake. That's what I get. Bro, I don't care, man. I don't care about the murder anymore. I destroyed their relationship. Look at how big it was, and look at how big it is now. I'm so. Oh, my lord. Is that my mannequin? Is that Mark's mannequin? Hey guys! Don't worry, I'm gonna build up the relationship again. Fuck Kate. I'm sorry, Charlie. Bro, Charlie, I'm sorry. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just poor Mark. Sir, who doesn't who doesn't show up? 
Who doesn't show up without, you know, let's just... Let's all just relax. We just sat down, give the man a moment. He's the host. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, oh, Mr. Dumet. I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right Dumet? with you. Dumet? Yeah, that dude ain't coming. Wait, what, why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? I'm not gonna defend that man. I ain't gonna say shit. I'm... I'm just saying, it doesn't make any sense. And it's freaking me out a bit. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, oh God, Jamie. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. OK, fine. Just. Don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. Found a pack of invisible cigarettes. Incorrect. I found an extra special pack of invisible cigarettes. In fact, I'm smoking one right now. See? <laughs> that explains why you're in such a great mood. So what are we doing? We're just gonna... Sit here and pretend. I'm so. I. Uh, uh, bro, I was trying to be playful, bro. <laughs> oh my lord, bro. <laughs> no. The plan, Charlie. <laughs> the plan? In true Lon and Entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll <coughs> throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. I would like to toast all of you. No, I would like to toast all of you. Really. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie. The two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. Aaron, we would be lost without you. And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Thank you all. For your hard work. Cheers. Cheers. To us. Mazel tov. What we can get here can take the show to the next Wait, level. how am I... We're excited of the... Oh. Sure. If we have time to get it all. <coughs> yeah, he totally heard us. Nah. No way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. <sighs> what was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. We, I thought. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. 
What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? I'll be having a strong word. If he tells us to stop, I'm going to be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need, and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I'd love to hear that. Shouldn't take me long at all. Great. 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 Up, oh, is that Mr. Lonitz, uh, mannequin? No, I think that's the guy from the prologue. No, that's somebody different. Oh, uh, nope, that's ours. Ah. Sorry again, but I recorded too much. So you're gonna have to come back tomorrow in order to see what happens. Goodbye, and I hope you enjoy.